Today, Samsung uh, announced the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, uh, which are major announcements on their lineup. And we see that they're going towards uh, more the creative uh, users with all the you know content editing, video editing that they are adding on to their devices. And there are some quite some differences between these two phones as well as the phones that have been out before the Note 10, Note 10 Plus. Uh, one major difference we notice is that they are kind of going away from having a headphone jack. Uh, this is something that some people are not going to be too happy about. Um, another difference we noticed was that the Note 10 has a much lower resolution screen than the Note 10 Plus. That might be an issue with some people, especially when they're paying at least $950 for the entry level 910. Uh, additionally, the Note 10 uh, does not have an SD card reader, while uh, uh, the micro SD card, while Note 10 Plus comes with a micro SD port, which is another major difference between the two devices. It's been seen in the market that uh, Samsung is really trying to reach uh, the iPhone users. A lot of iPhone users are, uh, in some cases, content creators, whether it's through their Instagrams or YouTube or any other video editing that they do. And the Note 10 is really focusing on content creators and all the apps that are connected to it and the fact that you can connect your PC to it. They're just adding extra features and extra value for you to go with them rather than the competitors. While Samsung is uh, on the forefront with technology and devices with the Note 10, uh, what they really are trying to do is grab iPhone's market, but they really have to watch with the other competitors in the Android market, and Google is doing very well with their phones, especially with the new entry phone that they recently came out with, the 3A and 3A XL, that are half the price, and they give you all these features as well. I mean, a lot of it is uh, software, so some of this uh, software can be found on other devices as well. And in some cases, uh, if you look at uh, specs, uh, Samsung is kind of catching up with some of the competitors who are coming out with uh, very powerful, phone, powerful phones, larger batteries. For example, like smaller companies like uh, OnePlus, they came out with the 7 Pro, which has a lot of the features that we're now seeing in the Note 10. Uh, so again, in terms of specs, they're kind of catching up and they're including all these different software applications that allow you to do so much more in one device. Uh, you can use gesture, kind of like a magic wand, to do things remotely from your phone, like take pictures or even do gestures to record videos and do 3D editing. 